Why are musicians from Asia way more popular in America than even Asian Americans? Let's talk about this because this is being discussed on the internet right now. Yeah, this is from Reddit. When will Asian Americans be considered marketable by major Asian labels? It seems like all the Asian artists that are accepted in America do not pass visibly as Asian. Bruno Mars, Olivia Rodrigo, her, Charlie XCX. Even though there are major indie artists like Mitski, she's not really mainstream. Mm. How come Asian American articles are not viewed as marketable? However, if you go back to Korea or your home country, you could have success such as Yutara Hikaru. Obviously, there's other people that, that people doesn't mention, uh, Jay Park, Jesse O, et cetera, mm. et cetera. It seems that imports are accepted, such as BTS, but that's not the same as Asian American rep. I cannot remember a full Asian or Asian passing mainstream artist like an Asian Britney or Asian Ed Shireen. Mm, so, all right, guys, we are going to be talking about this. We're going to be delving into the main reason why I think so. Other people are going to have their reasons in the comments section. But let's break this down because we are Asian American. And I think we're always wondering, hey, how come Asian Americans aren't more popular in America? So please hit that like button right now. But you know what is popping that is Asian American? Smala sauce. Very good chili oil. It is Asian American made in America, but with Asian sensibilities, uh, Sichuan to Sicily. Let's I really go. say it's global. Like you said, Sichuan to Sicily, we took into consideration the entire globe when formulating that sauce. Um, Andrew, first of all, is this poster forgetting that Far East Movement had a number one single with Fly Like a G6? Yeah, I think people discount that a little bit. Shout out to Far East Movement, but I think they discount it because... Uh, they didn't show their faces and nobody knows their names. Right. Is it a little bit like But they saying, did have hits. Yeah, yeah. It's it, That's like saying LMFAO was like the number one ranked white rappers instead of like Eminem or something like that or like a Mac Miller or a Jack Harlow. <clears throat> Even MGK considered more of a rapper, uh, yeah. white rapper than LMFAO. You know what it is? It's tough because those were number one hits, but they're not. My, Rocketeer still gets played. But other than that, like Fly Like a G6 is not something that people still play in the club. You're right, Today. you're right. But it wasn't number one. It wasn't number one. It was one. a number it one on platinum. Billboard charts at a moment. We Anyways, gotta acknowledge it. Guys, we're, we're just talking about, I guess the perception is, David, even though there are some Asian American artists out there, there's so many lists on the internet talking about, oh, check out this API artist. There's obviously a lot of mixed Asian artists. Right, the, like, are, like she listed, I didn't know Charlie XCX is half Indian. I didn't know. But obviously uh, her, there's Saweetie, there's uh, Janae Aiko, if you count her, she's actually a fourth, I think. Um, she looks Asian, though. She, but, she, her, that was a strong quarter. And her last name, Yeji. There's Steve Aoki. Tori is, Moy is in a niche, you know, by himself. Yeah, and, and then those are, like, more mainstream if you want to talk about Dumbfounded, MC Jin. Japanese Breakfast is an indie artist who's half, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess there are some. But how come it seems like there's no big pop artists? I think because I don't no, want no, to discount yeah. there's Asian artists out there, but they're not that big. This post is referring to pop music. R&B and hip hop, which are the three biggest genres of music in the US of yeah. A of the past several decades. Rock music used to be a lot bigger. Rock <clears throat> music seems like it's gone the way of the dinosaurs uh, also, turned into a country music David, niche now. Also, there's no uh, there's no big, uh, yeah, Asian country stars. How come? How come? So does it also seem like none of the YouTube uh, musicians <laughs> uh, really scaled past YouTube? Yeah, like, you no, know what I'm talking about? We're talking about, you know, there was a huge AJ, boom. They were touring Robert, around the David country. Choi, like, yeah, I mean, we Clara C, et cetera. love all those guys, but they didn't make it on that mainstream level. Um, let's, let me just say the number one reason why. This is my number one reason why. Cultural side, everything, oh, Asians aren't accepted or Asians are put in this box, which we're going to talk about. I think it's a pooling issue. Think about it. I added up the Asian populations, and this includes South Asians. Across the Western world, Australia, Canada, UK, America. Across the British Isles. 30 million Asians, right? Sounds like a decent amount. 30 million Asians, period. But of those Asians, which of those are of cool musician age? Let's just say 15 to 35 years old. That's only a third of them because a lot of them are old. So that's only 10 million Asians of this possible age that could be in this game right now. Right. right? You're saying in Western countries that could be considered a... Western Asian. Yeah, as Western Asian performer, right? So so let's say, so you have 10 million Asians that speak English, native English speakers, okay? How many Asians are in Asia? 4 billion Asians total, including South Asians, right? right. So then of that, one third of that is about 1.3 billion. So you got 1.3 billion Asians from Asia. Of age. Of age, of cool performing age that want to be artists. If they all wanted to be artists, 
you would find more talent there than you would find from the 10 million Asian Americans. That just makes mathematical sense to me. You're saying the talent pool, even if only a fraction of artists in Asia want to yeah. do it, they're pulling from 1.3 billion take, versus 10 million. Let me take it out of music real quick. How come there's not a Japanese American Shohei Otani? How come there's not a Korean American Sun Herring Min? Right? How come we have we have Japanese Americans, we have Korean Americans? How come there's not one of those top elite baseball or soccer or, players? Or how come there isn't a Vietnamese trap artist that's bringing the melodic hooks like this guy right here from Vietnam's Got Talent? Oh! Hey, 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 hey. So Andrew, your theory or your argument, I guess it's just logic, it's just the talent pool is a, a trillion X I, I think that's the main reason. I think that's the main biggest reason that you have to consider. That I think that makes up most of the Okay, reason. what about this other argument? It's the cultural side. That either the Western society, the Anglo society, has no room to consider Asian American artists as cool enough to do music. Right, right. Or even that the parents discourage pursuing those pathways and throwing the 10 out of 10 effort and heart and passion into those lanes in life. I think those are other factors. I think those are legit factors, and I think they play into it. Right? But I would just, I mean, you got 1.3 billion possible talent versus 10 million. Who's going to produce more talent? Just be real. Right, and right, And who right. has the systems? Who has the money? Here's the thing about pop music, David. Pop music is expensive to create. Boy bands, groups. Man, you're trying to, you're trying to pay eight different men and women in a group. Well, there might be like 80 people yeah. involved in the ecosystem. And they have to train. They have to eat, sleep, write together, produce the music together. Or even if they're not producing, you need music producers. There's these whole gigantic systems that require so much money and so much organization. Who has the resources? In Asia, they do. Not in Asian America. Have you seen these Asian American pop groups? No offense to them. They're not that good. And they're not that strong. And they look like a weird collection of people. It's not like, it doesn't fully make sense. You know, I wouldn't bet on one of them launching. Man, I saw so many over the years. You would not believe yeah. some of the ones we've seen. Anyway, um, let's just get into the comments section. Andrew, this guy, uh, and shout out to Jason Chu. We know Jason Chu. He did a Reddit AMA where people asked him, the, and he said that this. I'd say not only music, but American media in large has no idea what to do with Asian Americans. I think in the mainstream American imagination, Asians don't really have anything interesting about us except our orientalized exoticism. So anime, K-pop, and porn are all objects of fetishized fascination, but real lived experiences domestically don't captivate the imagination similarly. So for example, we would be considered kale and superfoods, but we would never taste as good as high fruit those corn syrup and caffeine basically he was saying that asians get considered the kale and superfoods of american society stay out of trouble get really good jobs stem careers structural to society but we're not cool and volatile like america wants its you know artists to be we're not sexy Yes, but not a, sexy a, a lot of sexiness in america has to do with possibly uh, social deviance right, pushing right, right. the envelope that asians are viewed I'm not saying that we are because obviously there's a variance within the Asian community perceived to be the opposite of that. Yeah, for sure. I think that's part of it. Well said by Jason Chu, man. That was honestly uh, really well written. He's very smart. He went to Yale. Somebody said 88 Rising was doing it for a moment with the edgy Asians with the tattoos and the drug use and the vibey visuals and the, you know, all the type of atmospheric neon stuff. But what happened? It seemed like they had a buzz. And then it went away. And then somebody said, 88 Rising has really been fumbling all their momentum over the past few years. They seem dead in the water now. Maybe they're popping in Asia, but Asian Americans aren't thinking about them anymore. Uh, I don't think that's true. I still, still think they have their place, but um, most of their artists are actually from Asia. They're English-speaking Asian. You're talking about Rich Brian, Nikki, et cetera. Yeah, all Joji, people, Joji's, they're all from Asia. Looks Joji's Western, from but Asia. Right, but he's half Asian, half white. Yeah, yeah but he's grew up in Asia. Like, right. they all grew up in Asia. Like, almost nobody on 88 of the top 15 on their roster is from America. I can't think of one. But they were this new class of, like, 
like elite rich kid from Asia that grew up in Western schools. They're the international class of Asia, but they're still from Asia. Right, right, right. The Western. They're still pulling from the Asia pool. Think about it. Indonesia has like hundreds of millions of people, like 500 million, how many, 300, 400 million people. Well, a lot of people don't understand if you're from a former colony, there's still this like aristocratic class Within there, that and is it, very anyways, westernized, but lives in the uh, Asian. Uh, I would say 80, someone says Steve Aoki. He is Asian American. Steve so, Aoki is a, Asian actually American. full Asian. Yeah, I, a lot of people think Steve Aoki's half because he kind of looks half from the Ainu side. Shout out to Steve Aoki. Um, somebody said, "What about EDM? Zoo, Henry Fong, Toki Monster, Yeji is you know obviously it's not EDM in a party EDM way, but concert EDM." Yeah. Um, do you think there's certain genres to music? Obviously, where there's a lot more penetration. People were pointing out rock music, art pop. Indie pop, hyper pop, more Asians or half Asians in those niche Spotify genres. I think when you think of pop music, it has to be really well produced. And I think from, I don't know. I just think like the K-pop system has kind of got a stranglehold on that type of like girl group. You're talking about hyper luxury, stuff? expensive produced like yeah, so it's 40 like, layers. I don't know. Beat. I don't even know if the West can compete with K-pop. I really don't think so. Right. But you're saying indie pop. Art pop, these are more minimalistic art forms. Keshi is really big. I almost want to say he's like a mixture of yeah. indie pop, art pop, Dude, and I think regular the Asian R&B. American artist, the Asian American artist vibe is so indie because they don't have the resources and they don't have the systems behind them. So everything feels so indie. When was the last time an indie Asian movie got big? When was the last big indie Asian movie that everybody saw? Does that everybody Farewell saw? count? Mm. Well, I think some art, art, artsy Asians watch that movie. No, but that was still like a $20 million budget. What else? Crazy Rich Asians, $30 million budget. Shang-Chi, probably a hundred some million dollar budget. But you're talking about like a $2 million budget movie or something like that, right? Everything, everywhere, all at once, still $15 million. That, I guess that was indie. They, that counts as indie, technically. It's a really so I guess that was big it. indie, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, I just think, to your point, right now, maybe the Asian-American music pop development and pop R&B and hip hop has lagged behind the movie world. The movie world seems to be moving at a quicker pace. You want to hear a hot take, man? I think generally Asians, whether they like to admit it or not, they like to feel fancy when they listen to things. So they want expensive sounding and expensive looking things. A lot of Asians don't want to feel like that they have to live this indie lifestyle. Because everybody, Asians, most Asians are still like upward mobile. Right. So They're when they consume fortune. art, yeah. they want to consume like a nice version of it. That's why so many movies were depicting Asians as wealthy. Or so many shows were depicting Asians as wealthy. Because a lot of Asians still low-key look up to that. Right. But if you said Asian, hey, Asians, you got to go to this one small theater to go, to go only watch Keshi perform. How many Asians... But it's, want to it, do that. it does seem like the younger Gen Z Asians are more into Keshi, and Keshi doesn't really portray that yeah. like, luxury lifestyle, right? He's talking about his friends being drunk on the street at the dive bar yeah. and like more yeah, of that hipster think, Williamsburg yeah, I mean, life, he has, right? He has like 50 million views. On right, right. But it's a big niche. He's, he's not a uh, radio artist or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Certainly not like uh, like we said, you know, got the, the whole industry backing of the expensive studios with 20 people around. This guy said, this was Frank Chin, who is a famous Asian American writer. Major problem with Asians in America was a lack of an art form of their own. They're essentially piggybacking off US art forms, which is okay, but we've been blackballed out of every single industry in the USA other than classical music when it comes to media. Um, yeah, that is true. I, you can see Asians, basically he was saying that we get blackballed. So Jay Park, who became the Chris Brown of overseas, right? Or like, I don't want to say Chris Brown, like the Bieber Chris Brown of South Korea, maybe not that big, but something like that. Like he could only do that once he went back to Korea. Yeah. He could never make a dent in the pop game, I guess, in the U.S., right? Um, but why can why do you think Asians can be accepted in classical music? Oh, Andrew, Jin. Jin was signed to Rough Riders. Jin is making Mandarin raps back in China right now. Mm-hmm. I guess, um, yeah, he was just saying it's because we didn't create an art form of our own the way Latinos created reggaeton, and then reggaeton is obviously in Spanish and mostly only open to Spanish artists. Yeah. Do you think- I don't know if there's an artist that is so hyper talented and got the look that they got blackballed. Right. You're like, saying I'm no. not sure. Right. Right. I agree with you. I'll say this. I think that being an Asian American artist, is like minus two off your PowerPoint 
Like, so let's say, for example, the threshold to make it in the game, Andrew, is six out of 10. You need to hit six out of 10 factors to make it. Let's say, for example, there's an Asian with six out of 10. So they're going to get minus two. So they're at four. So they're not going to hit the threshold. But if there was an Asian American artist that was at an eight out of 10 on the checklist, minus two, they could still get in there at a six. Mm. Like once they take the Asian discount in the yeah. game. But also, we're not producing enough artists to hit eight out of 10 on the checklist between the look, the marketability, the blah, blah, blah. Because it even, you know, the look matters. Because even Miguel and Bruno Mars, until the society changed, they struggled to get marketing. And Miguel is actually half black and half Oaxacan, which is a native Latino, which happens to look Asian. Like he's not a white Latino. Miguel is like half like native Mexican. I'll tell you this. Well, you have to understand a lot of these labels, even if they meet a kind of talented Asian, but they have no idea what to do with them, they're not gonna take on that risk. So some financial risk. <laughs> sometimes they're like, oh, if you're an Asian that's trending, why don't you just go figure it out on your own? Because I can't take on this risk of taking on this new product that I have no idea how to market. Or they might be like, hey, uh, Universal, I'm going to send an email over to Universal Asia and yeah. get you signed over there. I, right? I actually don't think it's as racist against Asians in the industry. If the Asian had the look, that could pass as attractive to a number of people and the talent. Well, isn't that why the half... Asians are getting on right now, even though at one point people were even skeptical of the half ones. Yeah. Um, somebody said, honestly, by the way, this is not my comment. Somebody said, honestly, when Asians stop trying to do soul rap and R&B and other things that are very black, that is when we will start to make it. Because somebody was listing off that there is a bunch of Asians not uh, that are frontmen of rock bands. There's a ton of Asians that are like the guitarist or the drummer in a rock band. Yeah, I think Asians do fit with the rock look. Because uh, rockers are very skinny. And rockers typically have dark hair. Yeah. And they look like more fringe, you know? So but but, but, but then rock music is super not trendy for the last decade, to be honest. It has not been trendy, no. Um, somebody said we have to own our own distribution channels so then we can push our own, uh, the Asians through the pipeline. But somebody else said, if the kids don't like it, the kids don't like it. It doesn't matter if you own the pipelines. But yeah, I do think we got to own distribution. Somebody said we're better off independent anyway. I'm not waiting for the mainstream to love a full Asian artist. This Asian American, this Filipino guy said, yo, listen, Asian Americans cannot even get down with each other to support each other. What makes you think that somebody else is going to come through and support a full Asian? Mm. Um, somebody said Steve Aoki talked a lot about this before because Steve Aoki actually gave an interview where he said the main game plan for Asians is to learn the skills in America, go back to Asia, be considered a unique product, and then potentially lateral back. Yeah. But then somebody said, yeah, Steve Aoki should be talking. His dad was a super wealthy, super connected businessman in media. Yeah, I mean, that don't, both Steve Aoki can be right, and the other person about Steve Aoki's advantages can both be right. Yeah. Somebody said, well, to be fair, you can argue it's already happening. All the fourth and fifth gen K-pop groups are filled with girls who grew up partially overseas in the West. Mm. Do you think that counts, Andrew? Like spending five, ten years being able to speak English fluently? So me, so me is a uh, half- Dutch and but she, she grew she up more Asian, in Canada. Though. Yeah, but, but she's she's gonna be able to be bridge the gap more, yeah, right? Possibly, yeah. Somebody said the gatekeepers will allow it when they allow it, when they deem it feeling cool, just like the Asians are started winning all the Oscars, even though those movies might not have been that good. It's just because that's what Hollywood deemed was their time. Mm. Um, somebody said it works for Latinos because they have their own music and their language with their own instruments. Andrew, what about Asian music with Asian instruments. Man, what about Asian drums? What's like an Asian All right, drum beat? I'll tell you this. Not that it would necessarily work in pop rap and hip hop. I, I think, you know, Punjabi MC and them, they were kind of doing it with the Indian oh, rap hip hop mixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's kind of already more westernized. I'll tell you this. The who? The Mongolian rock bands. The mm, That's popping Boy, in the can rock world. we play world. some taiko drums real quick? Let me just see if this has got anything. Um, Somebody said, I... It would need to be twisted a lot, okay? The taiko drums would need right, to be twisted yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said, I wondered the same thing with all the Asian athletes when all the clothes and equipment is being made over there. I mean, I don't think the clothes and equipment being made in Asia has anything to do with the usage of that equipment. Somebody said, it is the box that Asian parents raise their kids in. They dull their expressiveness because they are embarrassed by it. Mm. How I think that they're, they're depending on the family you're from, this is partially true. Because talent, Andrew, not only has to exist, it has to be cultivated and refined. Yes. Somebody said, what even is Asian American music? What are the sensibilities of even Asian music for that matter? I would say that Asian music has to be a little bit introspective. It can't be too violent 
and it has to be kind of lo-fi. You know, like lo-fi vibes. That's why I was believing in Shingo too with New Jabees, but they're both artists from Japan. But I, was, I, always, I always thought that lane of hip hop, it could work. Lo-fi rap. I mean, a cool kind of like pothead rapper, sort of like dumbfounded, but like, I guess, you know, more commercially viable, I think would have worked, could work in the future. Yeah. Because I think if you stand for like smoking weed, then that's you mean like kind of like a four hundred one. Four hundred one is a uh, I want to say he's, he's big in the Latino community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Andrew, um, what's your takeaway, man? You agree with the post? Is it a matter of time? Why does it seem like the music world potentially lagging behind the movie world? Yeah, man. I why why do you think, man? I think that it's just like. The music world is different than the movie world because most of the people who consume movies are older. It's like Roger and Ebert, or obviously, you know, not Roger and Ebert now, but like Rotten Tomatoes. If you look down the approved critics list, they're much older. Mm -hmm. Music is determined by someone who's like 15. Yeah. And mu movies are de determined by someone who's like 50. So it is different. Yeah. Yeah. Music is very sexy. It's very hip. It is very like up to date. Socially deviant. It is edgy. But movies can be dramatic. It can be comedy. It can be stoic. Like, there's all these different... There's more different characters in a movie than there are types of musicians that you want to listen to. Right. Music's supposed to hit your soul, make you feel something, make you feel cool, make you want to be in rhythm, make you want to listen to this person, make you want to... Travis wanna Scott, Playboy Cardi. ...be with this person, make you want to feel something. So Asians are just a little bit lagging behind in making people feel something. Mm. Asian Americans. It'll come. I yeah. think it'll come with time, but again, it's a pooling issue, guys. We're talking about 10 million versus 1.3 billion. Yeah. 10 million versus 1.3 billion. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Let us know who you think some of are your favorite Asian American artists. You know, I'll tell you this. There's a lot of Asian Americans involved in the game <coughs> making beats, producing albums, playing instruments oh. on albums, instrumentation, but even writing songs but maybe not necessarily being the front man. But like you said, that could change. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace.